Hello. Good evening, guys. How are you? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for coming early. Good to see you guys. So let's get started with the class. And I hope you had a great weekend. So um, we're going to start with uh, the same, right? Discussing about what we learned in the last class. So let's go ahead with that. And uh, tell me, uh, Gabriela, what did you learn in the last class? What did you learn? Yes, what did you learn last class, eh, Gabriela? What did you learn? Um, ¿Qué aprendimos? What did you learn? We learned about the articles. We learned about the articles. Okay, mm -hmm. what articles, Gabriela? Um, R O R. Mm -hmm. The use yes. of the bow. Mm -hmm. um, also, yes, no question. And yes, no questions, right? Yes, yes and singulars and plurals. And okay. Singular. Perfect, thank you, Gabriela. What about you, Josue? What did you learn last class? Tell me. Hello, Josue, ¿qué aprendimos? What did we learn? Hmm? Hola. Hola, Josue, what did we learn last time? Mm -hmm. uh, lo que son a uh, formular preguntas. Okay, questions, right? Mm -hmm. What else? Um, igual, lo que son. Y dar la respuesta. Yes, answers, right? Your answers. Okay, very good, Josue. Very good. Thank you, guys. And uh, yes, as Josue and Gabriela said, we learn about the articles, right? We learn about the articles, uh, and and. When can I use A or A, Gustavo Alberto? When can I use A or A? ¿Cuándo puedo utilizar A, for example? ¿En qué palabras? ¿Qué es, Gustavo? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, cuando la palabra que le sigue sea una... Vocal. Mm, o consonante, right? Consonante, consonante. Yes, uh -huh. consonante. consonante, right. What about an? Cuando utilizamos an, cuando la palabra que le siga empiece con un sonido de? Is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. De vowel, right? De vocal. De Muy vocal. bien. Uh -huh. Vowel. Okay. Thank you, guys. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead with the topics that we have for today. And uh, we're going to talk about the prepositions of place. Vamos a ver algunas prepositions of place. Vamos a hacer uh, speaking activities today. Y vamos a ver, hacer una video activity for you to practice the listening section. Okay, so uh, the prepositions, las preposiciones. Uh, we have, for example, in, dentro, we have in front of, we have behind, we have on, we have next to and under. Okay, on, usualmente, we are going to use it cuando está, tenemos un objeto, right? Bajo, cuando lo está tocando. Vamos a ver otra cuando no te está tocando la superficie. Okay, so we have the question, where is the cell phone? Si nos fijamos, la pregunta está in singular, right? ¿Dónde está el teléfono? The cell phone is in the box. Eh, si yo quiero hacer una pregunta en plural, Jorge, ¿cómo puedo hacer esta misma pregunta in, en plural? Uh -huh. Si yo quiero decir, ¿dónde están los teléfonos? How can I say that? What are these the cell phones? Where, uh -huh. vamos a utilizar, where, where are, where are the cell phones, the right? Cell phones. Where are the cell phones? Y no nos olvidamos de la letra S al final. And the answer, George. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la respuesta? The answer. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la respuesta? 
The cell phones are? Mm -hmm. Yes, the cell the box. phones. Yeah, perfect. Cell phones are in the box. Okay, recordemos que tiene que haber un match entre el verbo y la palabra, pues, así como nos la tenemos acá. Yeah. Tenemos letter S, entonces podemos utilizar R, right? Ok, no podemos decir the cell phone R, no, never. Ok, entonces tenemos in, in front of, behind or behind, on, next to, and under. Ok, give me a sentence. Ruth, where is the cell phone? Where is the cell phone, Ruth? Ruth? Hola. Estoy señalando behind. Hola. Where is the cell phone? Uh, behind the cell phone the uh, the cell phone mm -hmm. behind is the cell phone behind is mm -hmm. cell phone is the box okay muy bien the cell phone the cell phone cell phone is, is behind, behind the box it, the box. Muy bien, eh, Ruth. Very good. The cell phone. Okay. Recordemos la estructura, la palabra o el sujeto al principio, luego el verbo y luego el complemento. Okay. Okay. Very good, Ruth. Thank you. So let's listen to Ellen Nilsson. Ellen Nilsson, tell me. Okay, Ellen Nilsson, what about this picture? Where is the cell phone, Ellen Nilsson? Where is the cell phone in this case? The cell phone is near to the box. Is near? Near? Uh, is it the most next to the cell phone? Is next to the box. Is next to the box. Perfect. Both options are okay. Thank you, Ed and Nilsson. Okay, Glenda. Where is the cell phone in this case? Where is the cell phone? The cell phone is under. On there in the box. Under? On there? Mm -hmm. The box, right? The box. The box. Okay. Eso es abajo. Abajo, yes. Oh. Abajo. Okay. So, uh, ¿qué es lo que vamos a cambiar? Por lo menos en las oraciones, solo va a ser, eh, ya sea el verbo también, la preposición y dependiendo del objeto que tengamos. Y siempre vamos a, a mantener the same structure: sujeto, verb, and complement. Okay, uh, let's see, uh, Alberto, the last one. Can you help me with this one? In front of, where is the cell phone? Um, the cell phone is in front of the box. In front of the box, excellent, Alberto. No sé si hay dudas, questions about the prepositions, the sentences, and the questions. No questions? No? Mm -hmm. No, okay. En, yeah. la, en la preposición, o sea, eh, ahí dice the cell phone is, o sea, el is siempre había, va a ir acompañado de la preposición in, Encima. in front, o in, no. in, adentro. Dependiendo de, de, del, del lugar, right? Porque el in lo podemos cambiar, ya sea por in front of, por behind, por on, next to, or under. No, por eso, pero el verbo to be is siempre va a ir, o sea, The cell phone is sí. uh, in the front of, exactly. in behind. Yes, is. Dependiendo de la palabra que está anterior, ¿verdad? Porque si es en plural, vamos a utilizar are, ah. ¿ok? Uh -huh. okay, ¿ok? Tenemos que tener cuidado con eso. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Ok, very good question. Ok, let's continue. Uh, por ejemplo, si yo les hago la pregunta, where are the cameras? Where are the cameras? Where are the cameras? The, the uh -huh. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la, la the 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 cameras. The cameras are uh -huh. the yes, tenemos que mantener la estructura, right? Tenemos el sujeto, que son las cámaras, de cámaras. Luego ah. el verbo, are, porque estamos are. hablando en plural, on the in. box, right? Or oh, in oh. the box, dependiendo del lugar. Ok. Yes. Ok, very good, guys. So let's continue. And uh, les traje additional 
vocabulary, right? For you to identify the prepositions. So we have uh, some of the prepositions. Ya vimos behind. Ya vimos in front of. Next to, tenemos la, una preposición that it is between. Between lo vamos a utilizar cuando tengamos dos objetos, right? En medio o entre. Solamente dos. Okay, por ejemplo, the cell phone is between uh, the book and the computer. Okay, vamos a hacer una oración. En caso de between. Where is the ball? The ball is between, between the boxes, right? Okay, está en medio o entre las cajas, right? The boxes. Tenemos near, que se parece a next to, right? Near es cerca de. Tenemos above, ese above lo vamos a utilizar, por ejemplo, cuando el objeto no está tocando la superficie. A diferencia de, de on, que eso sí lo está tocando la superficie. Y también tenemos below, que es parecido a, a under, right? Okay, solo que below se parece a above, que no está tocando como el objeto que tiene encima. And then we have in, y luego tenemos on. No sé si hay dudas about these prepositions. ¿Cómo sería un ejemplo de between entre dos objetos que son diferentes? Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, for example, imagine we have. Uh, utilicemos the ball is between the computer and the and the notebook. Hmm? Podemos usar end, end. Okay, the ball is between. The computer and the notebook. No sé si hay alguna otra duda. Any other questions about prepositions? Estas son las que más frecuentes, right? Mm -hmm. No more questions? Yes? ¿En qué momento o con, con cuáles de esas preposiciones debemos usar el of y el to? El of. Y el tú. Ok. Sí. Eh, usualmente ya las tenemos, ¿verdad? Tenemos in front of y tenemos next to. Eh, pues prácticamente con estas. Solo con estas dos. Si entiende bien su pregunta, solo con el of y el tú. Porque. Entonces, con uh -huh. near, por ejemplo. Ah, for example, near, me dice usted, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces podemos sí. decir Starbucks. Starbucks is near. In the office. Is near the office. my office. Is near my office, right? Near my office. Is near my office. Uh -huh. Starbucks is near to, creo que aquí me estoy refiriendo, to my office. Is near to my office. Uh -huh. Creo que, as, let me just check this one, porque no estoy segura si alguien puede llevar este. Ok, Ajá, let me just este, check that one. Yo lo he escuchado siempre, ni um, tú, tal uh -huh. cosa, ¿verdad? Entonces, por yeah. eso es mi pregunta. Sí, pero let, let me check that one, porque no, le, le, le he leído, pero quiero ver mejor la, la, la gramática para estar un poquito y dar una respuesta. Ok, okay? gracias. So, uh, the other ones, uh, no, no llevaría necesariamente el to o el of. Por ejemplo, uh, tenemos in, que ya sabemos que no lleva, right? Por ejemplo, the books. The books are on the box. Okay. So, basically that. So, any other question? Any other question, guys? No, la okay. pista, hola, ahí le uh -huh. escribí, anda un poco fónica. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre las colecciones anteriores con estas? Eh, fíjese que algunas se repiten. Some of them, uh, we just repeat them. Pero hay algunas que son como, por ejemplo, above, que no estaban en las otras. Tenemos between también y near. Las demás son las que ya están, las que ya vimos. Solo es un review. Uh -huh. solo, solo son como unas tres nuevas quizás. There is not too much. Solo maybe in this one con above. 
quizás above C es una different porque no está tocando la sub. Ok. Basically that one. Y esta también. Below. Ok. No more questions. If not, let's move to the, the exercise, right, that we have for today. Ok. So let's practice. Let's see. Um, Janira, we, vamos a hacer un ejercicio. We're going to do some exercise. Uh, we have the example. Where are the books? Y tenemos the picture, right? The books are in the backpack. So let's go ahead with number two. Where, uh, where is, where are, in este caso sería are, right? Where are the flash drives? Janira? Uh, y no. Mm -hmm. y the flash drives? Next to, the flash drives are next to, Next to computer. Next to the computer. That computer. Very good. Ahora usted haga la pregunta to any of your classmates. The flash drives are? Ok, vamos a hacer la pregunta de la number three, Janira, please. Ah, the newspaper is? Ok, la pregunta sería, where? Where uh, is the newspaper is? Ok, solamente sería where is the newspaper. ¿Para qué sería la pregunta, ah, Yanira? Uh -huh. Where is the newspaper? Um, uh -huh. Este. Um, uh -huh. uh, Nilsson. Ok, Eden Nilsson, where is the newspaper? Newspaper is uh, on the, no sé qué es lo de abajo. Celular. Maybe it's a tablet. Maybe it's a tablet or Maybe cell phone. Tablet. Uh -huh. <laughs> the newspaper is. Maybe tablet. Uh -huh. The newspaper? It's on the tablet. It's on the tablet. Very good. Now, Ellen Nilsson, please ask a question with number four to one classmate, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Gaby, the chair is. La pregunta, Eden Nilsson, ¿cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? Where? Oh. Where is the chair? Very good. To whom? Para quién? Gabriela. Ok, Gabriela. Oh, the chair is um, above to the desk. Mm. Sería como que está atrás, right? The chair is behind. Mm -hmm. Behind. Behind the desk. Very good. Uh, can you ask a question to any of your partners, Gabriela? Using five. Utilizando uh, number five. What is the wallet? Mm -hmm. um, Guadalupe? Yes. Okay, where is the wallet? Guadalupe, where is the wallet? The wallet is um, above the book. Okay, above the wallet is above. Above the book. Mm, ¿Cuándo se que utilizamos above? Veamos above. Above yes, lo vamos so, uh, a utilizar. Cuando eh, no toca la superficie, mm, right? above. Ah, above. Pues sería... Si lo toca, sería on. on. Ok, entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría la oración? Sería, eh, the wallet is on the book. On the book or on the notebook, right? Ok, very good, Guadalupe. Ok, now ask a question using number six a cualquiera de sus compañeros, to any of your partners, Guadalupe. Permítame. Uh -huh. Where the glass are? Uh -huh. Where the glass are? Where okay. are the glasses? Uh, Carlos. Uh -huh. Where are the glasses? The glasses. Okay. Where are the glasses, Carlos? The glasses are next to the computer or monitor. 
are next to, okay, depend, depending on where we veamos, right? Okay. I see it in front, in front, if possible. Exactly, much better. The glasses, mm -hmm. the glasses are in front of the monitor, right? Monitor. I understand because it's a near and next to. It can be depending on the view you are watching this, right? So that depends, depending on the K angle, right? We are. Right yeah. now, I see it in front, mm -hmm. but it can be. It can be. Okay, so there we are. No, the, the, glasses, the, mm -hmm. miss, the glasses is very different as sunglasses. The glasses, yes. Sunglasses are to protect you from the sun, right? The sunglasses, right. the dark ones. And glasses okay. can be these ones. Usually, maybe that is, we can see that that is the difference, the sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, any other question, guys? Any other question? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jorge. One example about the below. Below. Be below. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can say that the glasses, the glasses are below the book, right? Or uh, we can say the clock, right? The clock is below the shelf también, right? Pero el below, en este caso, no lo está tocando. No está tocando con Ah, el... okay. That is the difference. Okay, so there we have some of the sentences, singular, in plurals. No nos olvidemos de la estructura. Sujeto, más el verb, and más el complement. We cannot say in, uh, for example, the glasses, the glasses in the, in the box. Que nos haría falta el verbo. The glasses are, right? Siempre debemos de respetar la structure. Okay, so let's move on and uh, we are going to have some exercise and you're going to help me to describe this picture. Okay, vamos a describir this picture. Okay, let's see, uh, Alberto, tell me where, where is or where's the brush, for example, what is the brush? Um, where's the brush? The brush is next to the pen. Yeah, next to the pen. Now ask a question. Ask a question to any of your partners. We have the example here too. Uh, Samuel, where is the cell phone? What is the cell phone? Mm -hmm. Is here Samuel? I think it is not here, Samuel. Well, here I can't see Samuel. Okay, uh, another person maybe, Alberto. Uh, the, oh yes, oh yes. Oh, yeah. uh, the cell phone. Mm -hmm. uh, the cell phone is under. How much is it? Chair, chair. Chair. Ah. Uh, uh, the cell phone is the chair. Is under uh, under okay. the cell phone is under under chair. The cell phone is under the chair, right? The it's under the chair. Okay, también tenemos another way to respond this, and we can use its, right? Okay. Vamos a utilizar its en el caso que sea un objeto. En el caso que estemos hablando de varios objetos y de acuerdo a la pregunta, podemos responder con they are. Okay, Samuel, ask a question, please. You can use a hairbrush, laptop, umbrella, glasses, keys. Uh, Gustavo. Okay, Gustavo. Where are the keys? The keys. The mm -hmm. keys. The it is uh, no it's the 
they are um, in the the air in the uh, floor. Dentro del floor mm, or no. on the floor? On the floor. Yes, very good. The keys or they are on the on floor. The floor. On the floor. O también, otra forma, under the table también. It can be. Okay, Gustavo, ask a question, please, to your partners. Where is... And where is his... At the table? The tablet? Oh, the tablet? Okay. Where's tablet. his tablet? What is his stuff? Um, Ibania. Mm -hmm. Where is his the tablet? Mm -hmm. It's on the table. I don't know. It can be is this. Yeah, it can be like a like a table. Let's call it like that. Or cabinet, maybe it can say cabinet too. Okay. okay, thank you, Ivania. Can you ask another question, please, to your partners? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jorge? Also, is the, the tablet in front of the, the monitor. In front of the monitor, yes. Or the TV screen, it can be. Or next to the lamp. Next. Yes. Next to the lamp. Perfect. <laughs> okay, continue, please. Uh, Ivania, right? Okay, mm -hmm. Ellen Nilsson. Where, where are his umbrella? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do that question. Where, where are his? Where is? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> yes, perfect. Where is his umbrella? Okay, mm -hmm. Ellen Nilsson. The umbrella is on the floor. The yeah. umbrella is on the floor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or in the trash can. Two. In the trash can too. Both options are okay. Okay, very good guys. Now let's keep practicing. And uh, we are going to watch a video, right? Vamos a ver un video. And then you are going to answer this section. Okay, give me just a second. Let's voy a compartir the exercise in the WhatsApp group for uh, you to for you to complete that and read at the same time. Okay, let's go to the WhatsApp. Let's see. Let me know if you can see the, the exercise. Okay, so based on the part, we're going to answer this part. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Yes. And my flight leaves at 12.30. So are you ready? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. My wallet is in the bag. Good, good. And your ticket? Yes, my ticket. My ticket. Oh no. Ahem. <laughs> my ticket. <laughs> On the TV. Under my notebook. Now you are ready. Yes, now I'm ready. Okay. Uh, oh, your taxi. Bye. Bye. Have fun in Brazil. Yes, thank you. See you in three weeks. Wait. Brazil? Yes, Brazil. Brazil? My passport! Sophia, where's your passport? Maybe it's, maybe it's in a box. Oh, um. Oh. 
Maybe it's... It's probably behind the chair. Uh, no, it's not here. Okay. Maybe it's next to the sofa. Oh. Sophia, what's this? My camera. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> My passport! Oh, is that under the books? No. Oh no! Sophia! Are those your keys in front of the TV? <laughs> yes. Those are my keys. <laughs> my passport, Jessica! Wait a minute! Wait a minute. It's... It's on the desk! In the bedroom! Oh. <sighs> okay. Bye! Okay, I'm ready now. Bye! Bye! My <laughs> bag behind the door. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye! Bye! My umbrella on the shelf! Oh. <laughs> okay. Jessica, where's Budapest? Okay. Okay, let's try to answer some of them right. Okay, the first one. Can you read it, Guadalupe? Podemos leer la primera, Guadalupe? The first one? Podemos leer la primera, Guadalupe? And the Benny and... No. And the Benjamin of the story is. Mm -hmm. Ahí tenemos uh, la respuesta. What is the answer? Uh, 10 o'clock. Okay. 10 o'clock. That is the first one. La, se la segunda. La segunda. Okay. Okay. La segunda. Muy bien. So we have uh, the answer. That is 10 o'clock. Muy bien. Do you have that one, guys? Tenemos esa de respuesta. Yes. yes, right. Okay. What about number three? Me ayuda, Alberto, please. Can you help me? Yes, uh, three. Sofia's trip is to Brazil. Is to Brazil. Yes, exactly. And the number three, Ivania, can you help me? Uh, let me see. Uh, Sofia's. It's the same. Sofia's trip is to Brazil. Sofia's, oh, number three. Okay, what about number four? Sofia's desk is in the uh, the bathroom. Yes, right. Yes, it is in the bathroom. Okay, what about number five, eh, Josue, please? What is number five? Sofia is on a plane too. What, what do you have in that? Um, sería en Brasil. Okay. She went to Brazil, but, but the plane she was was to Budapest. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Josué. So, guys, now we're going to have, a, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer otro ejercicio de listening más tarde. And, but now I want you to get focus on this activity. Vamos a hacer this speaking activity. So for you to practice, recordemos that we want is that you speak, right? So we're going to do this activity in pairs. So imagine that you work as an administrative assistant, right? And uh, your boss asks you to go to his home. So you are going to be, you're going to ask him some instructions for the objects. Entonces usted va a imaginar que usted es un administrative assistant. 
y su jefe le pide que usted vaya a la casa a buscar unas cosas que necesita. Ok, entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a elegir una imagen, a picture. You can choose any you want from the internet. Y vamos a describirla, right? So, for example, vamos a, a crear six questions. Vamos a incluir three singular and three plurals. And with the answers, right? Vamos a utilizar the prepositions. Por ejemplo, we have the, the, the example here. Ok, yo estoy en la casa de mi jefe y le digo, hi, this is Joyce, I'm calling you because I need to know where the objects are, for example. Por ejemplo, yo le digo dentro de la casa, hey, where are the kids? Entonces, su jefe le dice, oh, the kids are under the table or next to the window, and so on. No sé si hay dudas o questions about the activity we are going to do. ¿Lo vamos a hacer de acuerdo a la imagen que está ahí o no, como escenario? No, any, okay. any, any picture. You can take any one you, you want from the internet. Podemos tomarla del internet incluso. Ok, so no questions, if not. Um, is it okay if I give you five minutes? ¿Está bien cinco minutos? Five minutes or less or more, you tell me. Five minutes. Okay, so in five minutes, you prepare uh, the, the dialogue and then you're going to present the picture, right? And uh, the dialogue that you're going to have with your box. Okay, guys, so let's go and uh, let's practice, right? Let's go to the breakout rooms. We are, let's see. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's, if you have questions, you can call me, okay? I'm going to share this to you in the WhatsApp group. Hello, Janita. Okay, Eden Nilsson, Jorge. Lorena. Okay, Lorena, ¿cómo vamos? Samuel. Hello, Samuel y Lorena. Hola, hola. Hola, ¿qué pasó, Samuel? Ah, uh, ustedes me hacen falta. Ok, necesito Lorena, creo. No sé si le aparece ahí por ahí que se tiene que unir a la reunión. ¿No? Ok, vamos a intentar entonces. Ok, voy a intentar nuevamente. Listo. Perdón, Lorena, perdón, creo que hubo un error. Ahorita lo vuelvo a hacer nuevamente. Ok. Creo que él tiene que aparecer ahí, Lorena.
Okay, guys, hope you are ready. So let's complete the activity and uh, the first group. Let's see, veamos si me ayuda, if you can help me. Janira, can you choose a number? Okay, between one and eight, please. Un número del uno al ocho, Janira, please. Yes, Janira, a number from one to eight. No, teacher, ahorita. <laughs> <laughs> Hoy sí me perdí. Okay, un número del uno al ocho, Janira. Ah, un Just número one number. ocho. Mm -hmm. um, tres, Ay. no. Mm -hmm. Tres, no. The, num the number five. Number five, okay. Tengo entonces a, al grupo de Yanira. <laughs> Menos mal que ando perdida. No. no, I'm just kidding, Yanira. El número cinco es Carlos and Guadalupe Dimas. Ok, so you're going to present first. No sé si estamos. Carlos and Guadalupe. Ok. Ok, podemos compartir la imagen. Can you share the, the picture? Oh, sorry. I see him very Lupita. Um, Lo hicimos como que no, no, no le imaginamos, pero entre los dos la imagen. Pero puedo hacer la pregunta. Aquí le dice. Ok. Hi, this is Carlo. I am picking the object in my hand, in your hand. Where are the sunglasses, Lupita? Uh, uh, are the sunglasses is on the, on the table? Okay. Where is the picture, Lupita? Uh, is the picture next to a computer? Where are the shoes, Lupita? Uh, where the shoes is under bed. Where are the case, Lupita? The keys. Where are the keys? The case. The keys. The keys in... Mm. Pared, como... Wall, wall. Wall. Uh -huh. uh, the keys in... A wall's wall. What is the cell phone, Lupita? Uh, is the cell phone is on the desk? Mm -hmm. Where are the glasses? Repeat. Where are the glasses? Um, the glasses. Uh, behind next to telephone. Finish. Finish. Okay, very good, Guadalupe and Carlos. Excellent. Now, please, uh, Guadalupe, can you choose a number between one and eight, except five, except uh, cinco? Six. Six, okay, I have uh, Alberto and Gabriela. Are you ready, guys? Hello? Can, oh, okay. can you share on Jamie? Mm. Ahí está. Thank you. Can you see? Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, well. um, hi. I am, Hi. I am Gabriela and I am picking the object in your phone. Uh, uh, hello, I am Jorge. Uh, can you rep repeat, please? Hi, I am Gabriela. I am picking the object in your phone. Can you hear? 
¿Sabe? Eh, casi no, no le escucho. Yo, mira. No, can you, eh, no, no te puedo escuchar muy bien. Hi, I am Gabriela and I am picking the object in your home. Your home, oh, okay. Hi. Eh, excuse me, where is my laptop? Oh, yes, the laptop is on the table. Ah, thank you. And where is my, uh, my invoice? Your, um, the invoice uh, are from of the laptop. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, where is the the tablet? Okay, Alberto, I think creo que está fallando un poco su su sonido. No sé si podamos verificar eso. Ah, okay. Okay, creo yeah. que es el suyo. Sí, creo que es el suyo que está. Quiero ver. Mm -mm -mm. Sí, es el suyo. Vamos. Ok, ahí está. Uh -huh. Ya, ya cerró. Sí, sí, ya. Ah, ok. Ok, solo a Gabriela creo que quedó sin sonido. No, el de Gabriel es el que está. El de Gabriel. Sí, el de Gabriel es el que está. Creo que hay interferencia con su sonido, Gabriela. Ok, ahí sí se escucha mejor. No. Siempre parece, no sé si serán los audífonos. Sí, pero es del. Sí, casi no se escucha, Gabriela. Hola, hola, hola. Ok, intentémoslo un ratito a ver si, si funciona. Ok, hey, continue, please. Uh -huh. mm, Gaby, eh, where are. Where, where are my. my, my books? The books are on the, on the table. Okay, uh, where are my my plants? Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, where my lamp? Ah, uh, it is the lamp uh, is near to the tablet. Ah, okay. Thank you. Uh, finish. <laughs> Ok, thank you guys, thank you so much. Ok, creo que fue, si me ayudan con el audio, please. Ok, ahí está. Ok, thank you, Alberto. So, let's continue. Can you choose a number, eh, Alberto, between one and eight? One and eight, except eh, five and... Uh, yes, except five. Hello? Hola. hola, hola. Hola, sí, un número, please, Alberto. Ah, Juan. Juan, ok. I have Glenda and Gustavo. Ready, guys? Hi. Hi. It's, it's a picture. Yeah, we can see the picture. Ok. Um, um, where is the Ossetary? They, they are Ossetary on, on the Repisa. The Ossetary is on the table, um, next to the books. Okay. What is the question? Um, who are the pencils? Where are the pencils? Uh, the pencils are on the nice stand. Okay, the question? Where is the toy bus bus? Okay. Where 
the balls are on the next to the bed. Teacher, okay. me ayuda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and yes. the bus is next to the bed, right? The bed, see? Sí? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, any other one, Gustavo, to add? We escuché que quería agregar algo más, no more. The Thai bus is on the carpet. The, the bus toy is on the carpet. Yes. Yeah, it can be, it can be okay. too. Okay. Okay, thank you. So let's continue with group number two, Eden Nilsson and Josué. Are you ready, guys? Eden Nilsson and Josué. Eden Nilsson. Okay, let's get started, please. Eh, mira la imagen. Yes, we can see the picture. Okay, Josué. Eh, what is the monitor? Y como la me repite la pregunta, por favor. Uh, what is the monitor? El monitor. Mm. El monitor está en. Mm -hmm. It's on the table. The monitor is, okay. On uh, the what table. Is the laptop, right? Jose? Mm -hmm. The laptop is mm, on, on the table. Yes. And teacher, how do you say el cuadro, el paisaje? The picture or the frame, okay. the picture. Okay, Josue, where is the picture? In the picture and in is in Seria in Espanol. Is is. Above, above the monitor. Above the monitor, yeah. Okay, and what, the last one, what is the lamp? The lamp is on, on the table. Okay. Okay, very good guys. So we're gonna stop with the uh, presentations, si me pueden dar el permiso, veamos si. Yeah. So, uh, just some uh, ideas, right? Solo algunas recommendations. Eh, tengamos cuidado cuando estamos utilizando el, el orden, right? De la estructura. Recordemos que es el sujeto, después el verbo y después el complemento. Escuché una oración que decía, is the picture on the cell phone? Is the picture, right? Nos tenemos que estructurar bien las palabras, right? Por ejemplo, okay, give me just, um, creo que quizás le voy a compartir, ya se nos acabó el tiempo. Eh, quedaríamos pendiente para el día de mañana, los presentantes, and tomorrow we are going to see how we can improve some of the aspects that we did today. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the class and have a great day, guys. Okay, bye, guys. See bye, you. Bye. 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 Have a good day. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye. See you, teacher. See you, See tomorrow. you guys. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.